morning all today we shall discuss about serial extraction many children present with severe crowding during their early mixed condition period and in some cases expansion is fruitless and some permanent teeth or uh, some teeth has to be extracted to make room for the others this planned sequence teeth removal can reduce crowding and irregularity during the transition from primary to permanent tissue. This is serial extraction. The term serial extraction was coined by Gelgren in 1929. Even though Gelgren coined the term serial extraction, it was popularized by Nance in 1940s. So he is known as the father of serial extraction. Definitions of serial extraction. Well, in 1969, defined serial extraction as the treatment procedure that involves the orderly removal of selected deciduous and permanent teeth in a predetermined sequence. Profits define serial extraction as the planned sequence of tooth removal that can reduce crowding and irregularity during the transition from primary to permanent dentition. Indications for serial extraction. This uh, following is the list of possible clinical clues of serial extraction. These indications can occur singly or in combination. The most important indication for serial extraction is severe crowding. That is crowding because of arch length tooth material discrepancy. And if that arch deficiency should be of 8 to 10 mm or more. Also, it is important that the patient should be having class 1 malocclusion without any skeletal disproportion and with normal overbite and good skeletal profile. Other indications for serial extraction include premature loss of deciduous teeth, absence of physiological spacing, lingual eruption of lateral incisors because of space, space loss, Unilateral deciduous canine dose and shift to the same side. Mesial drift of buccal segments. Abnormal eruption direction and eruption sequence. Abnormal resorption of second deciduous molar. Crowded maxillary and mandibular anteriors with extreme labial proclination. Abnormal or asymmetric primary canine root resorption. Malpost impacted or lateral incisor that erupt palatally out of the arch like this case, which indicates that uh, there is lack of space for the align, proper alignment. Then labial stripping or gingival resection of the lower incisor is also another indication for serial extraction. Contraindications for serial extraction. Since the indication is severe crowding, contraindication will be spacing. So, serial extraction is not indicated for a space dentition and also if there is congenital absence of the teeth that provides space. Serial extraction is indicated only in severe crowding. So, mild to moderate crowding is contraindication. Also, as we mentioned earlier, serial extraction is indicated in patients with class 1 malocclusion. So, Patients with severe class 2, class 3, either of skeletal or dental origin, it's contraindicated. Also, the patients with deep bite or open bite are also not the candidates for serial extraction. And in cases with cleft lip and palate, uh, and also cases with anodontia and oligodontia, serial extraction is contraindicated because in cleft lip and palate patient, there will be hypodontia, that is less number of teeth. And when we go to and oligodontia, we know that there will be absence of teeth. So that in cases, in these cases, there will be already missing teeth and there will be already presence of space. So that if we extract more number of teeth, it will aggravate the problem. So the uh, serial so extraction is contraindicated in cleft palate and vision and patients with oligodontia and anodontia. Other contraindications include midline hystema extensive caries and mild disproportion between arch length and root material. Coming to the advantages of serial extraction, 
First advantage is that psychological trauma can be avoided by this treatment. And the first, uh, most important advantage is that this treatment is a physiological treatment as it involves extraction of the tooth and it guides the tooth into normal position without any uh, mechanical devices or appliances. And since it is not using any appliances or uh, any other fixed therapies, the patient is able to well maintain their oral hygiene. And uh, since it requires only extraction, the uh, cost of the treatment is also very less. And since it is a physiological treatment, the results obtained will be more stable so that the retention period required is be much lesser. Coming to the disadvantages, the most important disadvantage is that the case selection. For a proper case, uh, for a favorable outcome, the case selection must be, the case selective must be proper and it requires clinical judgment and experience. Another disadvantage is that this uh, serial extraction procedure requires prolonged treatment time, almost two to three years. And the patient requires multiple visits for the same, so that the patient compliance also will be less. This is another disadvantage. Uh, also, this treatment involves the extraction of certain primary and permanent tooth. There will be psychological trauma caused to the child patient. This is another disadvantage. Since we are extracting some teeth, uh, the there are chances for the patient to place the. Uh, the uh, tongue into that empty spaces and thereby they develop a tongue thrusting habit. Another disadvantages include arch length reduction, ditching between canine and second premolar, and there will be axial inclination which should be corrected later. Coming to the techniques of serial extraction, there are various uh, techniques advocated for serial extraction and there is no single technique for serial extraction. During the serial extraction procedure, we need to reevaluate and we have to take necessary decisions in between the treatment appointments. Uh, there are certain sequence of extractions uh, put forward by various authors and uh, Few important methods of serial extraction are Duell's method, Tweed's method, Nance's method, and Moyer's method. Duell's method. In Duell's method of serial extraction, he explained three stages. First stage is the removal of primary canines. Second stage is the removal of first primary molars. Third stage is the removal of first premolars. First step is to remove the deciduous canine, that is C, at the age of 8.5 years. This deciduous canines are removed to permit the eruption and proper alignment of lateral incisors. There will be some improvements in the central incisor alignment also. After the deciduous canines are removed, then the deciduous first molars are removed before the eruption of permanent canine. Once the deciduous uh, premolars molars are erupted and the first premolars erupt, these premolars are extracted to allow the canine to drop distally. Okay, before the extraction, before the extraction of this first premolar. Uh, radiograph has to be taken to confirm the presence of third molars. Once the premolar is first per permanent premolar is erected, uh, is extracted, the canines erect into this space and later on uh, proper alignment of canines and central incisors, centrals and laterals are obtained. This technique is not that successful in lower arch because in lower arch, as per the sequence of eruption, can canine might erupt ahead of first premolars in case of class one allocations. In such cases, uh, extractions of first deciduous molar should be along with the extraction of first deciduous molar, the nucleation of first premolar is also done. Second method is Tweed's method. That is, uh, he explained uh, 
its method as uh, D4C. That is the extraction technique a sequence used by tweed is remove, first you remove first um, uh, primary molar followed by extraction of first permanent premolar followed by the extraction of primary canines. At the eight, 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 year, eight years of age, all the deciduous molars are extracted according to tweets. Molars are extracted. Once the molars are extracted into that space, premolars are erupted into the space of uh, first primary molar. First uh, permanent premolars are erupted. Once the premolars are erupted, the serious canines are uh, extracted along with the first premolar. And then into that space, canines erupt and finally canine achieves into a proper occlusion. Uh, Nance method, it is actually same as that of Tweed's method and it involves extraction of all these that is extraction of all first primary molars followed by extraction of all first premolars, permanent premolars, then followed by extraction of all primary canines, after which the canines erupt into proper island. Uh, finally, finally, Moyer's method. For Moyer's method is actually indicated in cases where the crowding is seen only in the central incisor region. It involves four stages. Stage one includes extraction of all deciduous lateral incisors. These lateral incisors are extracted for uh, aligning the central incisors. Stage two is the extraction of all deciduous canines. It is done after seven to eight months. It helps in the alignment of lateral incisors and also provides space for lateral incisors. Stage three, uh, extraction of all deciduous first molars is done. It stimulates the eruption of all first premolars. Stage four, these erupted premolars are extracted after seven to eight months, and this provides space for canines and stimulates the eruption of canines. So, to conclude, uh, the procedure known as serial extraction requires patience, continuous observation, and proper time. For favorable outcome, it is important that the developing dentition should be continuously supervised and no teeth should be removed without precise and exact case analysis. That is, proper case selection and timely extraction of the teeth and patient compliance is of utmost importance for the success of serial extraction. And the, the, the thing to be noted is that this serial extraction is not a substitute for orthodontic treatment. In almost all instances, conventional orthodontic therapy is required to complete the alignment of teeth. Thank you.